How many of you have bought a sound system? One day I, I did something crazy. I went to the United States and I was working in a shop, in a mall, and I saw a sound coming from a shop. So I went there and I, I saw bulls. I said, wow. I said, listen, the guy who paid, he really tempted me. And I found a sound, I said, wow, this is cool. And I bought it. What a small machine. I couldn't, I couldn't believe that such a small machine can produce such a sound. I bought it to Ghana. The guy asked me, so why are you going to use it? That's why I'm talking to Ghana. I said, Ghana, what is it? I said, I see, you don't travel. From Ghana, I think we are really doing some of them. We are not really just a good one. Yeah. I 
I will bite your nose and I will chew it. But this woman was so submissive. They will walk with her husband. This man was saying, they will even call their husband's law. And when these were taking them to their bedroom, but I am I am in this situation for my husband's sake. And what he told me, he says, bro, I said, what is this? He I'm telling you, this is a concern. I said, what's the concern? He said, the divorce rate in the church is higher than the one in the world. I said, but you can, what's the proof? What's the statistical proof? I can, I can accept what he said. It's very simple, bro, don't let us fight. He said, no. He said, when you come to church and you register for the money, you give away the certificate. I said, correct. He said, when you finish, you bring the duplicate to us. So we have church of Pentecost. We have this thing, the Lord is my shepherd. He said, Look what's in the next one. The leaders may decide to say what they're killing people and they complain them. All the churches, so he said, It is easy for us to tell which divorce is coming from the church and which one is coming from the world. And I'm telling you, from our last statistics, the church is now higher than the world. Why? Why? That people are destroyed. Because the problems. What does the one want see? You living as a young man. This man will give code of ethics. Those who are sinking, 
when you express the, the accuracy of the gift and the talent, it is called charisma. It is called charisma. It's a gift. But who holds the charisma is character. Yeah, this charisma is a gift, but character is not a gift. When your charisma takes you to the top, it's character that keeps you there. What is character? Is the security of every great destiny. Character is the security of every great destiny. So we don't the way you can sing, do you have character? We don't care about the way you can preach. I have seen people preach from fire down and destroy their life on the end. A lot of you that come here, don't have to deceive yourself. There is a starter anointing, there is a continuous anointing, and there is a finishing anointing. Where are you doing this? You can start to end and never finish one. And you are not in competition with anybody. So don't be first. Let's finish. Don't be first. Just finish. You are not in competition. Paul said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. So you are not in competition. Don't. Don't. Be first. Finish. demonstrating in the house. When nobody is there, what do you watch on your phone? Power. Of 
Will you dishonor your husband, disrespect him? You are sitting there by your husband, testing your ex boyfriend. Now well, listen to me, you are here. Let me tell you some stupid thing. Again, one day I was standing in a church, and about a, a, a guy, a, a, a girl walked to me and kneeled down and started crying. My husband has left the house, he's not sleeping in the hotel for almost one month. I said, Who is your husband? Do I know him? He says, Papa, he started following you many years ago. I said, Give me his number. I call him. When I call, he picked the call. He said, Who are you? I said, My name is Nanase. Which is Nanase? I said, Okay. Then I added a title. I said, Don't that be me. Why? Come here. <laughs> I said, why have you left your wife? The guy started crying. This guy's going to tell me. Let me show you something. I really wanted to watch your woman. He said, that my mom has cursed me if I see this woman. I said, why? The girl married to a guy who is an associate pastor in a church started talking to his best boyfriend yesterday. And the boy, the ex boyfriend told the girl who is married Take a naked picture and send it to me. And he took his name. The guy is so as a husband. And you see, the guy is so stupid, he's not smart like you. You see, if it's you, you will delete it and delete the second one and delete the third one. Look at your name and say, the guy is not in our group, he's not smart. Pastor Brian, he left the thing and the guy was able to find it from his home. Now, when his mother doesn't like, hey, is what I'm preaching. If we neglect this thing, our work will be useless. Because some of them sitting here, the kind of stupid things they can do, even Satan is surprised. <laughs> and you better sustain your heart. What can you do for what I'm talking about? It will save your life and your destiny. He destroyed his two years' marriage. That phone you are holding, it can put you in trouble in one second. Took a little piece, sell me to his person. You should not be You, can Jesus take your phone? What kind of pictures will Jesus see on your phone? My son, I'm not coming. Hmm? You know my house, there's a lot. Nobody has a password on this phone. <laughs> no, you get it. So I get on the phone. She went to school. She was in form five. Was it form three or four? And I get on the phone. And I put it in the password. What is this? Now, what is this? And I buy it on phone. He never used phone from form one until he was going to university. And there's a prophet that is coming, he's coming to Shankom, and come around, I want you to 
Every time you have to carry them, call your mother's name, call your father's name. We are prophesying to people who did things the devil cannot do. Now, do you know something? God, I studied the Bible and realized that thank God for power. But don't, don't let us emphasize on power. Power went to Egypt. Power demonstrated all the power, but power couldn't take them to the promised land. So when Joshua was looking for a rock, because he got a rock to get that rock, he said, How do I think you say this book of the law? This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate on it. It means that the book is more powerful than the rock. This rock that did not see, this rock that turned water into blood, couldn't take them to the promised land, but the book took them. Jesus, any time you come, what a miracle you will show them. So, wicked and adulterous generation always looking for power. The worst thing that can happen to everyone of God is just a communication. They are always looking for power and not ready to hear God's way. They are not walking in obedience and the presence of the way. What power did you receive, Moses? That but this power couldn't take them to the promise. Said Joshua. Give you the book of the law. Meditate on the book day and night. Observe to do according to what the book says. Once you do that, you will make your way prosperous and you have good success. Have you read the manual? The manual said, if you are not married, don't have sex. This is what the manual said. When you see fornication, don't talk, don't walk, flee. It will be one of the
So now, Judah has come to sleep with his daughter in law, one of God. The moment he did that, he came and knocked this room. That is why when God was looking for a king for Israel, he didn't go to Judah, he went to Benjamin. Right? She went to the tribe of Benjamin and it saw. He did so in first Samuel chapter 10 and verse number 2. Look at it. I'll end with this one. First Samuel chapter 10 and verse 2. Computer. First Samuel chapter 10. Huh? <laughs> Give me this one. This one. And Samuel to what? Talk to me. Talk to me. Samuel to what? Samuel to what? Say that word V I A N. Say it very loud. And put it on what? His head and kiss him. So this is the anointing of Saul. Someone anointed Saul with the fire of God. Because I was checking and realized that he anointed David with a home. So I said, no. He said, we are showing two persons. One is holding by the one is holding a couple. What's the difference? All of them must come the same. Yet I found out that the Hebrew word for the word fire is Templar. Wait. Don't forget. A pastor shall not enter into the congregation without his temple grace. Matthew chapter 1, verse 3. Let's check something and I'm close. Matthew chapter 1, verse 3. Who is the second king of Israel? Talk to me. Who is the second king of Israel? Say it very loud. Say it very loud. Why did God go to Benjamin? A pastor ten generations now. Watch this. Matthew chapter one, verse number three. Give me the new King James version if you have it. Matthew chapter one, new King James. Judah, who slept with Tamar. Let's count something here. Judah slept with Tamar. When the girl became pregnant, gave birth to twins. Huh? So this guy, Judah's son slept with him. Hey. And Judah himself has come to sleep with the man. So he slept with his daughter in law. And he came under the curse of ten generations. Comes from him. Judah begat Perez. One. Perez begat Hezron. Two. Hezron begat Ram. Three. Ram begat Aminada. Aminada begat Nasson. Nasson begat Salmon. Salmon begat Boaz. Boaz begat Obed. Obed begat Jesse. Jesse begat David. And this is a God with the tenth generation. David was just lucky that the tenth generation fell on him. This is six. This one. So the begat begat to not read in the Bible, they all have me. Your brother and squeeze your face and tell your brother, brother, don't touch the girls you tell them. Don't touch the girls. The word of God is a mirror. It can let you feel so good. Hello? Give me a wave. Are you still are you still with me or you're not? Uh -huh. Are you changing now? Yeah. Amen. Look at it. This is it. So when Judah was there trying to romance uh, 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 Tama, he denied all the people. All the guys he denied them kings. And the God, God sat down and prayed. Because he cannot go against his way. Take the mercy before he brought the kingdom back to Judah. Well, that's what he said. And somebody. Don't set his feet. 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 Tell your wife, lock it with three pound Let me go with prayer and battle. And set yourself free. Today you have heard a message that will take you the next seven days. Hear yeah. yeah, this. Nobody's going to talk with you. You can't stop it by your strength. 
You can't stop the pornography by your strength. You can't stop the masturbation by your strength. You need Jesus to come. So today I want to introduce you to the master because to destroy you. Sin has wages. Sin has wages. And I'm not going to say it. The wages of sin is death. So sin has wages. And compromise has principles. I have a warrant for your arrest. To come to Jesus and plead your case with him. What's the hell? I can't continue. Have you noticed you can't even learn when? Have you noticed you are not sound? Have you noticed that you go to a service, you get black out, but pray to the hands of the enemy? Come to Jesus. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one can to the Father. Except a man be born again, he can never see the kingdom of God. Notwithstanding, you can get master's degree five and destroy your life. I have seen it in my small life. I've seen intelligent people, intelligent, gifted people run their life in amazement of everyone. Life does not begin at 40. Life begins when you know Jesus. Or you are struggling with addiction. I want to introduce you to the master. The thief came of Matthew to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that you will have life. Man, I can preach anything. I can take this message and preach until you can't stand. I can prophesy for six hours. I have to make sure the Holy Ghost, I am led by the Holy Ghost to do exactly what God wants. When I was preaching to Sabon prison, it was the first time I went there. We renovated the whole prison, get water system for them, fill the hospital with equipment, and they brought even the female prisoners to join the main prison. I told them, I said, listen, half of the Bible was written from a prison cell. So being a prison is not anything. Paul wrote the Bible, Jeremiah then they wrote from prison. And I told them, I said, listen, there is something more powerful than being here. If you receive Jesus Christ, why can't preach a trumpet of sound if the Bible is true and you'll be caught up to them? The judge that put you here, if you doesn't know Christ, life after this world will be better for you than me. So listen, Christ in you is the hope of glory. It's the hope of joy. It's the hope of strength. And today, I want you to say, if you're a man of God, you are a pastor, then come to the altar. It's a meeting place of humanity and divinity. You can be a pastor. I heard the story of Papa the way somebody came to preach. And according to the message, when everyone was going to the altar for a job, humility is the key. You can sit with all your pride, but the devil has you at his hook. A broken and a contract have got the Lord disguised. If you are sitting here, struggling with different things, you know in your heart that when Jesus comes today, you will not go to heaven. So I'm not too sure I'm born again. Too sure I'm not. You can't be a woman and not to know. You can't be a man and not to know. That somebody is asking you. I mean, if your husband comes one day and says, ah, I mean, what to say? He said, I want to ask you to not ask him pregnant. That guy has lost his mind. <laughs> the way a man cannot be pregnant, it's not possible for you to be born again and not grow. My spirit bears witness with the spirit of God. I'm a child of God. If you are not sure of it, it means you don't have it. If you are struggling with any addiction, don't just come here and jump and go back and go back to your struggle. Jesus can set you free. So that your potential will just be released. I want every eye shut. And if you are sitting here, 